We are towards the tail end of Oshkosh. It's been a great week. But let's save some of the best for last and talk to you about bringing back the Jenny. It is one of the classic, iconic aircraft of all time. Tell me how this came back into being and what you're doing with the kit. Okay, so I actually fell in love with this particular airplane at the age of 14. It was my introduction to home-built aviation. I didn't know you could build an airplane. And time went by, I wanted to start my own company. And of course, we started with the Ryan ST replica. Circle back 20-some years later, the ST replica was at a hangar in Boulder, where I met the owner and builder of this Jenny. And we got to talking, and now we own the rights, and we're set up to do kits. So right now, we're taking orders at the show. And we hope to have the first kits out in October. About 100 of these have flown worldwide. Engine options anywhere from HKS, UL Power, Rotax 582 is popular, Rotax 912 will fit. And of course this one has a Honda and Geo Metro Suzuki was also popular. The fuselage is steel tube, we weld that in house. And that's part of our basic kit, which comes with the fuselage and the blueprints for the rest of the airplane if somebody wants to go more of a plans built route. Now we also offer deluxe kit options that make it more of a full kit. If somebody goes that route, they'll have about twenty to twenty-five thousand into the kit, and about forty to forty-five thousand into the whole airplane when it's done and flying. Wings are aluminum spars with aluminum ribs. So the only wood you see on this airplane is what you can see externally. It's only a 500 hour build time, give or take. The kits, this is a Gen 1, one of the early ones. Of course, we offer the Gen 2. The Gen 2 has a 12% larger fuselage and it's also got more authentic looks, kind of like this one has. And um, we've added one rib bay to the upper wing. Uh, it's also got an increased gross weight. The original didn't have a very big useful load, so we wanted to change that. The things that we're changing on this kit aren't out of the realm of what people have already done on the airplane. For instance, this one is flying at a higher gross weight. All we did was go back through the stress analysis, check everything, and now we're formalizing that. It's been 35 years since it was designed, give or take, so uh, a lot of improvements. Well, the amazing thing about stepping into an airplane like this, if you just kind of let yourself go just the slightest little bit, you're back where this all started, <laughs> and it's pretty incredible. It's a feeling like none other, and it's worth every bit. Yeah, absolutely. This I can't imagine doing anything else, honestly. I can't. It's just been incredible. I know you're working with the Ryan ST and so forth, uh, and you've got what appears to be an original design. Tell me all about them. Yeah, so behind the Jenny we have the Ryan replica, just like you said. Um, we've sold about 45 sub kits in the last three years. Um, it's doing pretty well for us. Uh, and of course that's the one that's most heavily advertised because it's been a little longer. We also have to our right here, Kay's Speedster. It's an original design, it's not a replica. People wanted side-by-side -side seating, they still wanted the vintage looks, they wanted folding wings, all that kind of stuff. So we, we brought all that into this airplane here. And even though it's an original design, it still does have the GB look, the GB Vive, the mystery ship look, mm -hmm. big old radial engine on it. So we're really excited for that one. And that one should be hopefully available about this time next year, if all goes according to plan. And where can people get more information on what you're doing? Because boy, I'll tell you what, this looks like the toy store to me. <laughs> um, they could find us at TimberTigerAircraft.com. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, by far the best aerobatic propeller ever come out. I use the Trailblazer. It adds performance to the Super Decathlon and dependability, and it's rugged. Hartzell's been an excellent partner for Whip Air, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demand. It's helping us all have better performing airplanes. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller.